Oh God. Morning, going down for breakfast. We'll have a catch up in a minute. Oh my God, look at this bit of hair. I've probably sweat that out last night <laughs> with nerves. Mm -hmm. The lift literally has a screen in the mirror. We've just got to breakfast and it's a whole piece. I'm going up for round two. They literally have honeycomb, like fresh honeycomb. Insane. Good morning from Turkey. Yes, this is the surgery vlog. Don't freak out that I'm in Turkey. I will explain all. But first and foremost, let me tell you what's going on. I mean, from the title, you'll probably know. A lot of you think and are guessing that I'm having a boob job or doing something to my body, but I'm actually here for a rhinoplasty, a nose job. There are so many reasons why I'm doing it. I just wanna state first and foremost that like it's not something that I need to do and I'm aware of that. I don't think it's necessary for anyone unless it's affecting your health and your breathing. Like nobody needs a nose job. It is an aesthetics thing. And I don't want anyone, you know, who looks like me or has a nose like me to feel like there's something wrong with them. I don't necessarily think there's something wrong with me. I just want a nose job. I, this year marks like 20 years since I first had like the thought pop into my brain of like, yeah, I, this doesn't, it's not really gelling with my face the way I want it to. And I also wanna say that this is like a decision that I've made on my own. Like I was never bullied about my nose. Like there was never comments about my nose, never like comparisons, anything like that. It's always just been something that I can remember wanting to do. I just remember looking at myself and thinking, like it doesn't match my features the way it should. I've just always thought that it's just a little bit too big for my face, a little bit bulbousy. And I feel like because my other features aren't that um, dramatic, like if my eyes were bigger, I feel like it would sit on my face better. I just don't think it meshes with the rest of my features as well as it could. Also, I know that I've said throughout the years that nose filler is the only thing that I would not stop getting. Like I would always get nose filler and I'm like, if that's something that I'm gonna continue to pay for, continue to have to get done, why not just do the permanent solution? I think nose filler is great, especially for like really good candidates for it. But for me, it's great when it's fresh, but it starts to migrate. So I loved how it looked when I first got it done, but it, it starts to kind of spread. So like my bridge starts to look thicker this bit starts to flatten out and look thicker. Um, and then I have to go back, get parts dissolved, get it put back in. And I'm like, just get the nose job, just sort it how you want it and be done with it. To be honest, I don't want it to look too different to how it looks now, just a little bit more refined. I naturally don't have much of a bridge. I've got filler in my nose right now, so you won't be able to see it. I'll try and put some photos of what my natural nose looks like, like before filler, but I don't know if I have that many photos. Yeah, so I just want a bit more of a bridge, a bit of a lifting of the tip, which I have with filler as well, and maybe just like a little bit of reduction in the size of my nostrils. But yeah, it's just something that I've wanted for a very long time. The reason I'm in Turkey is not because it's cheaper. I think I'm paying overall pretty much what people pay in England to have a rhinoplasty. So I'm not here to save money. It's just a case of I couldn't find anyone in the UK that I knew would be able to do my nose the way I want it. Like the surgeon that I'm going to and many of the surgeons in Turkey are ethnic rhinoplasty specialists. They are also revision rhinoplasty specialists, which means they really know what they're doing. I'm not sure yet. I've got my consultation today. I think that my type of rhinoplasty that I need to get done entails having a bit of my rib cut out to build a bridge and some other parts of my nose, which I don't think people do in the UK. I haven't been able to find a surgeon anyway, and I haven't been able to find a surgeon that's done many noses or faces that look like mine. So I feel much more reassured being here. The surgeon I'm going to is Dr. Umit Tuskin. Followed his Instagram for ages. Everything looks great. The reason I chose him specifically was because I've seen a lot of vlogs of people that have gone to him and I've also been able to see their long-term results and not one of them wasn't one that I was like super impressed with. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm so nervous. I have barely slept. Oh, I feel sick. I want you guys to know that I'm not taking this lightly. Like I know how serious it is and I think that's why I've taken so long to make the decision as well. Like I am scared. I'm scared that I'm not gonna be able to communicate properly what I want or we're gonna be thinking different things like, I know I could bring like photos of noses I like, but 
there's not one specific type of nose I like. I just want something that's gonna suit my face, that I'm not gonna look super different and that it looks natural. So I'm just gonna have to try and figure out how to explain that. I think also doing the job that I do and seeing your face constantly from all different angles, it's very easy to become like quite self-critical and scrutinizing on those things. And there's certain things that I just kind of obsess over and I'm like, I'd rather just fix it fix it it doesn't need fixing but i'd rather just change it because i'll feel better about it i don't know if i do it as much now since i got the filler in my nose but i know that i always used to like cover my face when i was laughing when i was eating because i just felt really conscious of my nose and it's not to say i hate it because i don't hate my nose i do think it's cute i just don't think it suits my face or my features as well as it could but yeah I hope I've said everything I need to say. I'm, I am a bit of a wreck right now. We've got a car coming to pick us up in half an hour. Um, I'm gonna get all my pre-op tests today. I have no idea what that entails. I should have asked. I'm guessing like blood tests. I've got to get a COVID test, and, which I'm not excited about because contrary to like what it would appear, <laughs> I hate needles. Well, I hate needles being in my skin for a prolonged amount of time. And I hate the thought of needles injecting stuff into me or drawing stuff out of me like it just makes me feel sick i've always been like that since i was a kid like i remember i vividly remember hiding under a doctor's desk and screaming no <laughs> when i was a kid because i had to have either a jab or a blood test i can't remember um so that's exciting so we're gonna do that today I, i've never had someone else do my covid test either and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to handle it. like it's making me heat like bleh, it's making me uncomfortable just thinking about it so that's at 9 30 we're getting collected and then i think i've got my formal consultation and probably between 12 maybe 12 to 1 and um, that's all going to be confirmed in a little while and then surgery day is tomorrow it's crazy because i've had it booked for ages but it's just come around so quickly and i keep having like second thoughts because it's such a scary thing because obviously it's a permanent change and it's harder to fix it once you've done it and i'm just scared that I'm not going to communicate properly and it's not going to be what I want, but I know it will be because everything he does looks insane. It like looks incredible. I think it's normal to be nervous though. I'm also going to be put under anesthetic and stuff like that. So it is just scary. Like I'm literally getting my face cut open and potentially my ribs as well. Anyway, let's not talk about that. Anyway, this is, this is it. Welcome to the surgery vlog. Please. I don't need any nasty comments or anything like that. Like I'm a grown woman, I've made a decision. It's a decision that I've known. I've always known if I found the right surgeon and I was sure, I've always known that it was something that I was gonna do. So yeah, I guess it's time to say goodbye to this schnoz. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Remember, there's filler in it. So usually my bridge, there's nothing. So it's just like a slope and then my nose just would come out. And then my tip would be way more kind of down and droopy and bulbousy. I mean, it's cute, like I don't hate it, but I just think it could do with a little bit of refining. And then this is the other side. I just can't wait to not have to ever get filler in my nose again. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm excited about it. I even, um, I didn't get my Botox that I usually get because I want my face to look as much as my natural face as possible. I don't know if that made sense. We're doing it guys. I. Thank you for your support. I know a lot of you are gonna be super supportive and I appreciate you guys so much. The other reason that I really wanna share this, obviously, aside from the fact that I'm not gonna be able to hide that I've changed my face, um, I do really wanna share this. For anyone else that kind of has struggled with the same journey as me where they've wanted a nose job, they've not really known where to go, I just wanna share my experience in hopes that if that is something that you have been looking to do, that I can help you maybe find the right place and the right person. Because I wish that back in the day that that was something that I had. Let's hope this goes to plan. <laughs> oh God. Can we talk about the fact that I literally swept my hair out last night because I'm that anxious. Sorry, it's also actually insane the amount my hair has grown since I cut it. Like it's been a while, but I also just didn't notice how much it's grown. Like I literally cut it to like here. Also, my boyfriend needs to hurry up because firstly we've got 20 minutes and also I need to, I've, I'm feeling a nervous poop right now and I don't want to do that before he has to get in the shower. But if he doesn't hurry up, I might not be able to wait any longer. <laughs> I was just about to call you. That gym is nuts.
Is it massive? Like it looks in the photo. It's really, I'm coming later. I'm definitely going to do a gym session before we go or before surgery. This is just one floor. There's a middle floor upstairs. Oh my God, there's a full on boxing room. Yeah. The fact that I'm not going to be able to use this got... is actually a liberty. Like that's a piss yeah. take. Hello. Morning. Morning. You. Okay, we'll be down in a second. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Okay, bye. Oh my god. They're a few minutes early. You'll be glad to know I got my nervous pill out. <laughs> my main concern is am I still gonna have my septum piercing? Because I'll be very upset if not. <laughs> my main concern is you looking like <laughs> No. Let's not do that. If we are not in the most bougie hospital I've ever been in. It doesn't do it justice on camera. There's literally a grand piano playing itself. That is like, my goal in life is to have a grand piano. There's even a gift store. Sorry, first surgery. Um, first cosmetic surgery, yeah. A bit nervous. <laughs> I've wanted to do it for 20 years now, so yeah, I've waited a long time. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Oh. What should I be doing? Open your hand. Sounds like a lot of things. We have to. Blood tests done. Now we've both got to get COVID tests, but it's looking like we're doing it through like a little hole in the wall. <laughs> I've never had a COVID test done by someone else, so I'm quite nervous. Hello. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm not gonna lie, that was horrible. It was very quick though. Was it all the way back? It felt like it was. Good luck. <laughs> we are off to a shopping mall. We've got a two hour wait for the results. So we're gonna head to the shopping mall and hopefully get some shower gel, some body lotion, maybe a dressing gown because I had a little debate with myself on whether to bring it or not and I should have brought one. So I'm gonna have to buy another one now. Have a little mooch around and then head back to the hospital. Bougie bouge. Very nice. Oh, the way I just walked straight around it. Last step now, just waiting to see the doctor. Everything's fine with the anesthesiologist. Yeah, so we're gonna have a chat, a little consultation. I'm really nervous. And we're back in the room. We left at 9.30 and it is now 10 past four. We've just been basically at the hospital all day. Apart from that little shopping trip that you guys saw, but that was probably like an hour. <laughs> they have an M&S here. I didn't know that. And they have Carrefour. British shop and a French shop. I think it's French. As you can tell, I'm on a bit of a high because I'm happy to be back home. But also I just had my consultation with Dr. Tuskin. I think it's Tashkin, but I don't want to butcher it. I didn't film because I was just like, overwhelmed and I just wanted to like have a proper chat but he's gonna send me some photos of my nose morphed into like different styles and then I can kind of choose what I want but yeah I think he gets the vibe and he also said and I was really hoping for this because I've watched so many ethnic rhinoplasty vlogs um and I feel so lucky but he said that I've got thin skin so basically thin skin is um the kind of ideal for this type of surgery because apparently the healing's better it's easier to work with it's just preferred. I'm happy about that because it means my healing is going to be way better. It's going to be shorter. I think if you've got thick skin, it can be up to two years until your nose is fully healed. If you've got thinner skin, it's only up to a year until your nose is fully healed. But yeah, I feel pretty confident like the consultation went really well. One of his nurses who's going to be taking care of me tomorrow, she's also had her nose done by him and hers looked great. So I'm excited. I got myself a little robe from the shopping center. Sorry, I didn't film anything in there. You have to get your bag like checked through security. And the lady was like, what are you doing with that camera? And I was like, don't worry, I won't film, so. Thank you. I found a shop called Penelope and this robe is so nice. I think it was about 40 quid, but totally worth it. And I got the men's one because the small medium in men's was way better. The sleeves weren't like here. They actually fit properly, but it's just this gorgeous, like neutral, 
chunky waffle. Unfortunately, it didn't have a hood, but then I remembered that I'm probably gonna be more comfortable wearing this the whole time post-surgery anyway, so I'm probably not gonna want like a hood in the way. Yeah, there's a few things I've bought for prep. I've got like some really warm thermal Uniqlo socks because apparently you can be really cold after surgery and after anesthetic. I got some slippers before leaving as well. I've been looking at these for so long. I went into Selfridges and this was the last pair they had in my size, so I was like, I'll take them. And I also had a voucher, so I was like, they're basically free. Girl math. And these have been lovely, so these are really nice and cosy and warm. Um, I bought myself some new pyjamas as well, but, but I don't know if I'll be able to wear them at the hospital because I, I don't want to get blood on them. I'm also getting rib taken out to put in my nose. That's been confirmed, so I don't know if I'll wear them straight away. I don't even know if they fit, to be fair. I didn't have time to try them on before leaving. Tomorrow we check out of the hotel and then we go to the hospital and it's one night stay over at the hospital and then we're coming back to this hotel so yeah that's it like it's confirmed i've paid for my surgery now as well so strange but you pay cash so i had to travel with the cash from the uk <laughs> and i've been shitting myself this whole time so i'm so glad that i'm not carrying it anymore that's all paid so it's happening as long as our covid tests come back clear which i think they will it's happening tomorrow it's actually happening tomorrow i can't believe it 20 years and it's happening tomorrow babe it's happening tomorrow. Anyway, all I can say is wish me luck, but you guys won't even be able to. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm nervous, but I'm feeling, a, feeling sorry, a lot less nervous than I was before having that consultation. I think we're gonna go to the gym now to get all this like pent up whatever. It, I think I've got a lot of adrenaline in my body right now. This is gonna be my last workout for probably six weeks. I'm so sad, but I'm just gonna make the most of it. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I mean? I don't even have a sports bra with me, but it's fine. I don't have boobs anyway. I've also brought my little squishy avocado. This is like the best pillow ever, and I think it will be really useful after the nose job as well. What else have I got that I've got to bring with me for the surgery? <laughs> I've got my iPad, phone, and laptop preloaded with like downloaded stuff. I've got my Kindle. We all know I love my Kindle. I just need to make sure everything's charged. I'm sure we'd be able to charge it there. I think that's it. Is that all I've needed? Oh, lip balm, because your lips are probably going to be really dry. My favourite lip balm has been demolished by my dog. I've also got strepsils because your throat can be really like dry and sore after surgery, especially if you've had like tubes down it. From ibuprofen. I'm sure they'll be giving me painkillers though. I'll update you if I've got anything else that I feel like you might need to know. We're going to head to the gym now and then I'm going to scram. Gonna get some food in our systems because yeah. we're not really eating properly today. <laughs> I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I can't believe I'm finally doing it. I'm just gonna have like a cute, pretty nose. <laughs> not Joshua roping me into a self tape right now. Do we look like a cool London couple? Because that was the brief. <laughs> We've just finished recording, haven't we, Babs? <laughs> I've just ordered a pre-workout meal. I'm starving a belly in anything all day. I did not expect it to be this big. I thought these were just snacks. This is a lot. I've got a little, I think they call it a shepherd salad. Basically just cucumber tomatoes. I think some kind of spicy pepper and then some pastries. I just wanted a snacky thing, but it's a whole last meal. <laughs> I can't believe how much there is. It feels really bruised. To me also. Do you know what I'm shocked by? There's no dressing on it. There's no dressing on it. It's the intonation, isn't it? I don't have the accent, but I've got no the intonation. There's no dressing on it. I wish we had some olive oil. Maybe I should have asked them to bring some. This will do. Oh, yeah. 500 guinea pig you own. What is going on? What are those? Going to the tube. This way? I've just received my potential photos through from the doctor. 
so this is my nose at the moment this is probably a clearer view i hope you guys can see my phone's always got this weird reflection on it oh there we go this is my nose you can see like the tip there's just a bit too much of it it has got filler in it as well this is what it will look like i think so he sent me a few different ones but i'm pretty certain on this one like i'm pretty sure this is the one i want so yeah as you can like you can see it's not that different like i don't actually look that different it just is like a subtle kind of refinement they're only like really subtle differences mm. That one's kind of cute as well but yeah i think this is the one i'll let you guys know tomorrow though i guess we'll just we'll just see it when it's done <laughs> i think that one's quite nice as well let me just screenshot that one as well i think this one might be the one actually yeah this is the one i like realized i still need to take all of my piercings out don't in fact i'm gonna do this in the bathroom it feels so weird not having my septum ring in and now to have to take all of these out as well very strange guys how weird is that who am i without my piercings <laughs> that's a lot of metal all checked in just waiting now to get taken to the room and then we'll have the next consultation, just get prepped. I have a problem though, there's one piercing that I cannot remove. So I'm gonna need some help or they're gonna need to cut it out my ear because I'm not, not having the operation because of that. That's <laughs> Wow. Thank you. We just got to my patient room. It's like four times the size of the hotel. <laughs> I'll just give you a little tour as you walk in. To the right, there's a whole bathroom. Where's the light? Also, how bougie is this for a hospital bathroom? Are you kidding me? Cupboards for clothes. So, this is just like a living area. I can't even stress how big this is, you guys. Like, this is huge. We've got a little kitchen area with a microwave and probably a fridge. Then you come in through this door, look at the size of the TV, bed, another sofa, and then from the other side of the room I'll just show you. And then we have a whole another bathroom. And this one has a shower. How insane is that? This is massive. I want to stay here for the rest of the trip. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I've not eaten since last night because I have to fast before surgery and I'm so hungry. More importantly, I'm so thirsty. Like, I feel really dehydrated. I just want to have a drink. But thankfully, I think I'm like one of the first people going in. I'm going in early this morning, so. Say goodbye to the schnauz. My bed for the night. This is crazy how big this is. I can't believe it. Hi. Morning. Morning. <laughs> how are you? I don't know what this is. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> do I have to put it on now? Which, I don't know how to do this. Well, I guess I'll take my top off then. How do people do this on their own? Do I look pretty in these colours? I haven't worn one of these in a long time. Now for the best part. <laughs> Anti-embolism stopping. Why are they giving me an extra large? What are they trying to say? They're trying to say I'm thick as hell. I'm joking, I'm sorry. But surely they need to be tight, no? Wait, are my toes out? Gross, nobody ever needs to see my feet. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had them this long before. I feel like they only ever come up to here usually. I hope they let me keep these. <laughs> oh, I need to do a thumbnail. <laughs> I'm delirious. <laughs>
a good way. Do you reckon Bronson's up to right now in France? <laughs> Done. Thank you. Allergic penicillin? Yes. Got me needle in. It's making me feel sick. That's it. The worst part's over. I hated that. <laughs> Ready to go. How long have I got left? My operations at like <sighs> eight. About half an hour. Really? Now, now time seems to be going like super slowly. And you've got an operation at eight, but football at half ten. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. It definitely wasn't um, football. We need to Perfect. There we go. Thank you. So this is essentially it's a video on how to deal with the what to do with after the surgery. Mm -hmm. you remember it? Yeah, I was looking at you like, babe, you gonna remember this? I think I will remember that. Bye bye. Love you. Hey guys, how's it going? Toast up check. I feel like I can already tell that it's gonna be so cute. I've been back in my room for about an hour, sounding super nasally. Also, sorry about the blood. <laughs> I wasn't in here when I woke up. I was freezing. I was literally like teeth chattering, trembling, but I felt fine otherwise. A little bit of soreness on my nose. It was more like, you know, that like hot feeling you get when you fresh get a fresh piercing. That's what my nose felt like. It wasn't unbearable. Trigger warning again, sorry, I've got a drip now. So I think there's probably painkillers in there, which are helping, but yeah, like it was sore, but it wasn't like crazy pain. My rib as well, I've got a little, I'll try and show you without showing you my boob. Yeah, I've got a little plaster cover over my rib. And um, that's actually fine as well. It's just, if I like tense or laugh, it's like slightly tender, but it's not like painful. But yeah, I'm actually feeling really good feeling fine the only thing is as you guys can probably tell by my voice i'm so thirsty like i woke up and my throat was so dry it's a little bit sore but it's fine i've got about another hour to go until i can have some water probably have a strepsil as well um so they say i can't eat until two hours after i'm guessing so that i don't feel like sick and stuff also trying to throw up with this would be like the worst thing ever <laughs> i also just checked my doctor's instagram and I'm literally on his story <laughs> on the operating table, which is so funny. Let me find it. It's such a weird thing to wake up and like see yourself on an operating table. That's me. So funny. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fine. I just can't wait to get some liquids in my system. Sorry I didn't film any more of the doctor, by the way. The consultation was super quick this morning. All he did really was just kind of feel around my nose. And then we agreed on like kind of what I wanted, obviously from the pictures that he sent yesterday. So... Hopefully it's all good. I do feel like I can tell that it's going to be so cute. I'm, I'm like, I'm nervous to see it, obviously, but I'm really excited. I think in about five days time, I'll get the cast removed. So yeah, until then, we're going to enjoy Turkey. Dr. Tuscan's lovely assistant, Fuzai, said the best thing to do after the first few days is to try and be as active as possible and get a routine, which I'm so excited about because it means that I'm allowed to like explore and stuff. We're not just going to be here like bedridden which is like the last thing I want. So yeah, I can't wait for that. You're not gonna explore with me? No, I will be in bed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's the update. I will, I guess I'll update you in the hours to come. It's two o'clock. I can drink water. <laughs> also, in like the last 20 minutes, I've realized that the back of my head is soggy. I don't know what happened. Well, I do. I think they have to put loads of water on the cast to stick it down and it's all just dripped to the back of my head, so. Straighten me here for nothing. Just happy to be alive, baby. I'm gonna have some water now. I'm so thirsty. I can't sit up, my fucking rib hurts. Can you just, now. can you push me up so I'm not like tensing? I, I think that's- I can literally lean it up for you. Oh. You ready? Yeah. Ooh. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not high enough. You want to be up yeah. that way? Yeah. Can you what? just push my back up so I'm not tent, like squeezing? Oh, I don't know if I can, it bloody hurts. I need to push my back, yeah, yeah. Can you pull this way? Oh, wait, this fucking hurts. Oh, yeah, oh, that's better. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I don't know how people come and do this on their own. They just have to wait for somebody to go and get their food. Oh, <laughs> that is so nice. I kind of want to tie my hair up, to be honest. I want it out of my neck, because it's so cold. Do you think you could do that for me, please, Bubba? Afterwards. Uh -huh. Thank you. I probably should have just kept the hair on. He's a lovely, fine gentleman. Let me know when you want the curry. Thank if you. you want it. Do you want to see it? Yeah. 
That looks like lamb. That's all you, baby. I guess I'm loving that then. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want to chew, I just want to like ingest. I'm not even that hungry to be honest, but I feel like I should eat. Sorry, do you mind tying my hair up? So it's just really Where's cold. Salt? I should have tied it up before surgery. If I'd just tied it up, it wouldn't be wet. <laughs> Am I stu- I didn't know. Thank you. <laughs> Is that not better? It doesn't taste of anything. Can you taste- because you can't smell it. Can you taste it? No, it's got- I can taste it slightly, but it's just very bland. Need to put some salt in there. It doesn't taste of any- yeah. I thought it was going to be really tomato-y. Yeah, that's not great. It's just salt. Yeah. It's alright. You want all the salt? Probably, yeah. More food. I don't know about that cheese. Is that honey, do you reckon? That's a lot of honey. That's too much. <laughs> Thank you. I have way too much honey. <laughs> We're very different people. Yeah. <laughs> this guy will put half a jar of jam on one slice of toast without butter. Like, right. are you good? Half a jam is a, half a jar is a little bit, a little bit of a reach. Yeah, but like if you turn that toast upside down, most of that jam's falling off. For one piece of toast, I'll, I'll have like a big tablespoon. Yeah, but it's not half a jar. It's not half a jar. I've just realized there's olives off my plate. And for anybody that don't know me very well, I love me some olives. I really want to blow my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so salty. Wow, so salty. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I feel like that's <laughs> abnormally salty. Oh, it's kind of nice though. Uh, you look like a panda. <laughs> <laughs> like a forest critter. Are my eyes puffy? Are you laughing at me? No. Am I it's puffy? Just cute. Your eyes are like a little bit bruised. Actually. Yeah, like you've got dark, like. Oh, no. Bruising around there, but I mean, you're bound to. You don't look like you've had a fire or anything. But it gets worse. I bruise easily. Don't be gentle when you handle me. Oh, that was creepy. <laughs> There's a mark you leave like a love heart carved on a tree. Imagine you can't sing anymore. Imagine it changes your singing voice. We'll just take a minute and look at this. This ear without no fucking piercing. Isn't it so weird? Oh, I forgot to ask him if my septum piercing's still gonna be there. Do you reckon it's gone? Yeah. Oh, I'll have to get a replaced in a year. There's the other ear with my saggy earlobe. Is it quite saggy? No. Can we put my piercings back in, please? Just, just that one and the two that need to go in and my, and my plugs, please. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I don't want them to close up. Should we wait for the nurse and ask them if it's okay? It is okay. Please, just at least just this one. <laughs> Did you know you'd be getting another one? No. Is it the same as the other arm? Yeah, it's like a, a trip. Do you reckon it's painkillers? Not painkiller. Painkiller? Not painkiller. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Update, I had my gauze changed a while ago. It's now quarter past three. I've just noticed little bit bruising but i did expect it because i'm very sensitive i bruise so easily i think ever since like i developed pmdd or whatever like especially closer to that time of month and i'm actually supposed to be on my period now but i took another pill packet because i didn't want to be on my period during this whole thing but around that time i bruise easier i don't know if that's a thing but i've noticed that with myself so yeah it was to be expected it's not that bad right now though, which is good. And hopefully I don't get super puffy. Yeah, just enjoying my food. The soup was nice. I left the cheese. I've had my olives. I've had my walnuts. I've had my dried apricots. My cucumber and tomato. I'm gonna have my last olive and some bread. They've already bought me like another thing of food as well. Like they're filling me up, baby. They're feeding me and I'm here for it. There's also a restaurant you can order from in the hotel. Uh, in the hospital. Sorry, this might as well be a hotel. It's so nice. If I get bored of this or if I'm still hungry, I can just get more food. I should not 
talk with my mouth full, sorry. So I've got my iPad set up, I'm just watching some vlogs. I've got oh, this thing in my arm's hurting. I keep, I keep catching it. I've got my Kindle ready to go. For those of you guys asking me where my Kindle case is from, I just got a clear case on Amazon. And then, sorry, but my pop socket is the best one ever. It's literally a skull buried with a book. I'm sorry. I got that on Amazon as well. I'll try and link it if I can find it. It's so cute. Bury me with this book though, for real. <laughs> There's the update. Swallowing is really horrible right now because my nose is, I think, just full of stuff and my ears keep popping. It's not painful, it's just like annoying, but it's fine. I'm very comfortable right now. Oh, the rib feeling is weird. That's the only thing. Like, if I'm laid down trying to get up, it's a little bit tender, but it's like a weird feeling. It feels like I've got a hot, like, I don't know how to explain it. It just feels strange. All I wanna do is blow my nose out. I'm worried I wouldn't do that when I'm asleep because that's the kind of thing I do subconsciously, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Also, I touched my nose. I can feel it on my fingertip, but my nose is completely numb, which is a very weird sensation. <laughs> this is my view. Quite a cute little outdoor view, which is nice. It's really nice to have like a window and like natural light in here. That I'm not just in like an artificially lit cubicle. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm all right, I keep getting locked out though. Oh, is there not a key? Oh, thank you. All right, I'm gonna stop talking because this swallowing situation's bothering me. And I'll update you guys in a little while, but I'm doing good. Uh, is it filming? <laughs> <laughs> is it filming? Yeah. Hey guys, it was 10 past six, I think now. The nurse just came to my blood pressure. Everything's fine. And I just changed my gauze because my nose is bloody boy. And uh, we've been watching Painkiller, which is so interesting. You guys should watch it. Um, trigger warning though, it's about like medical opioids and like addiction and stuff. But it's pretty interesting so far. I don't know why I'm saying this one, I can't even look at you. Anyway, they just bought me some more ice. I just wanted to say that, hopefully help with like, me not getting like, puffy or more bruised. <laughs> why are you laughing? You're doing some horrible <laughs> shit to me, aren't you? I want some fruit. In my mouth, in my mouth. I can't believe in a whole ass hospital there's no fruit. <laughs> yeah, I'm really surprised. I thought Starbucks might have like a fruit pot or something. Oh well, I've got my, my, my like vine rice rolls. We don't serve up your box, I love those. And my juice. So, I'm happy. Feels really weird talking to the camera with my eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> Are you tired, Bab? Am I tired? Yeah. I'm exhausted. I don't know how I feel, I'm like, I feel like I'm I'm alive, but I'm dead. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. Yeah. Uh, get out of my face. You're making me all wide angle and weird. You're so rude. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't work, yeah? Uh -huh. uh, I really move slowly, slowly. That's it. That's oh, that's it. so bizarre. Wow. That's it. <laughs> oh, wow, I can breathe. That was such a funny feeling. Wow. Okay. That's it. Now we will put the uh, tampon. Was it big? Was it a lot? I didn't even see it, it was oh. that quick. Do you want me to show? Yes, please, I'd love Where to see it. <laughs> it's so interesting. Oh, that was such a, that was, it felt like it came out of my throat, like <laughs> all the way up. That was so strange. Does it feel a bit better? Yeah, like it's not stuffy, like the same. Which you is sound nice. more like you now. Okay, doors out, doors out. Wow. Oh my gosh. It felt like it came <laughs> yes. out of my throat, that's crazy. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Oh my goodness. 